So now we travel to Australia in uh, Melbourne, Sandown International Raceway, for the famous Sandown 500, the 60th anniversary of the Enduro event. And oh boy, what a race that oh was. Oh my the God. The weather made it fun. Oh, that was crazy. Ep- ep- epic. And it, it, like Formula One, it started off quite slow. Um, mm. But once it started going, it didn't stop. No, which was fantastic. Safety cars, breed safety cars. Exactly. Safety cars, Absolutely. safety cars, safety car. But qualifying as well in the wet, mm. with the mixed conditions, and like just a whole weekend. You know, the rookies. You know, they some were good. They some were good. Them, some of them were good. They did very well. They did yeah. very well. You know, um, shout out to Boost Mobile for coming out and supporting one of the teams at the last minute. That's a br- that's a brilliant story. That's um, a, that's fantastic. Because you know. For the context for viewers, um, basically, this the wild card, the privateer squad was Matt Charter Motorsport with Matt Charter and Brad Vaughan from uh, Barossa. Um, unfortunately, their sponsor cut, uh, jumped the ship last minute and they were left with nothing. So Peter Addison came aboard and uh, whipped some boost stickers on there and supported them. So fantastic. And the car looked and, great. And they did, fantastic. And they didn't do it all too bad. No, they finished 19th. Yes. You know, so, um, yeah. Not too, not too bad, and uh, so and plus they stayed in one piece as well, which a lot, um, of, a lot of cars didn't. Exactly, exactly, Especially absolutely Zip-Zip. right. Yeah, and the pace <laughs> we that, will get yeah, into the, the pace that Brad show, showed straight away from the first practice session that he jumped mm. on, he definitely um, showcased his skills to to the entire supercars grid, um, winning the Super Two race, which you know we'll talk about in a little bit. And overall, yeah, no, I think I think it was brilliant from from their point of view. But the race, yeah, I mean, the weather, uh, it, it really yeah. made it come alive. I mean, the Red Bulls when they con- made contact, oh, that was scary. Wow. But there is a few talking points, and because there is a few new um, elements to the to the race as well. Definitely. Weekend. First off, the new um, fuel system, the new fuel hose, and um, the feeder hose is slightly bigger now, which means pit, pit stops. Uh, a, a lot quicker. Yes. So instead of taking a minute to fill from zero to nothing, uh, that, that is zero. From zero, zero to a hundred, don't. Um, from zero to a hundred, <laughs> it takes twenty seconds. Twenty liters. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. If oh. you know, you know. Um, <laughs> it yeah, it takes twenty seconds instead of a minute. So that means you know you got to make sure you're quick with the driver change and tire change because and the thing is they're all crammed into that little spot now with the air jack on the other side. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, it is yeah. tricky, and we did see some dramas like Whoa. that with uh, Kostecki. Yeah. Well, did you see that? No. What happened with Kostecki? So in, they did the driver swap. Was it practice? Right. Yeah, in practice. Yeah, yeah. yeah they did a driver swap. Hazel got in the car. Brody came out, mm. and the guy released the car for Jackson. The right rear wasn't on. Oh. Yeah. 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 So they yeah. got. A, they actually got, got a on the five, landed on the ground. They got a five hundred dollar fine for that. Um, five hundred. Yeah. No. Like nothing. <laughs> I mean, not like wow. not like Port Adelaide, twenty thousand. Jeez. <laughs> um, wow. So yeah, that's the thing. Um, you know, because the air jack guy saw because normally once the fuel goes, that's Hands it. Up. You know, that's it. Once you see the fuel guy gone, you yes, be, it's usually the good sign. But now that the it's fuel so guy quick, is no quick. longer the fu- like the longer. Ah, uh, yep, 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 that um, makes sense. Yeah, yes. Exactly. So, so it's that. all about getting used to it. Aaron Love even had uh, his team had trouble putting actually the hose in, um, but that's just normal. With all the situations, see what happens at Bathurst then. With that, exactly seven odd pit stops you got to do. Exactly, and another thing we saw was the new ADK rule. Yeah, which I'm not a fan. I'm not. Uh, I understand the Mm. reasoning for it, but execution was poor. We actually they're not doing that at Bathurst, are they? They are. Um, so basically, once That's the a, safety car goes out, you I think they automatically go to eighty or something. So it's like a something v- like that. It's like a VSC. It is like a VSC. With the safety car, it's out. a pre VSC uh, as the safety car comes out. Look, I don't mind the idea of it because it makes everyone even. Mm. Cool, but it just looks ridiculous. <laughs> well, we it's, we it's, saw it's some weird. David Reynolds had actually, a, I think, an accident, and while doing eighty, yeah, yeah, because all the cars are gone. <laughs> Oh, from so 280 to all the way down to 80. Uh, right, right, right. Because we saw Ryan Wood. He was in the middle doing 80, and Chaz Moster actually had to go in the on the inside there to actually get past him. And so on the wow. So wait, is it activating on some cars and other cars it isn't? Or? I really – maybe I don't – maybe I don't do, do they, do they, Does the team have to push a button or something? But 
Yeah, that can end quite what bad. Whatever, it can be da- quite dangerous. I mean, especially down Still, Conroy. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. That first could be really bad. But the full course yellow, what do you guys think of it? Um, I didn't mind it. It's because uh, obviously the difference of that is they control their own. It's like that's the virtual safety car sort of thing. They have a pit speed limiter on. Yes. And then they disable it once they get going again. I didn't well, mind that. That was worked. That VS, worked a lot better. VSC works well, mm. full stop, I think. Yes. I think it's a great option, especially yeah. for something that's not requiring yeah. a full course. And that last crash when um, Jack LeBrock um, crashed, yeah. and he actually managed to get himself back out. That was a Yeah, I mean, example. they could have just waited a couple more seconds because they didn't, they need, they didn't need a safety they didn't, do, they didn't do a full lap. It didn't look like it was getting out, though. And yeah. Then, and then it, as yeah. soon as they released it, oh, yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah. 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 But at least they didn't call a proper safety car, otherwise that race would have simply ended under yellow. I always I wonder, imagine. and you're a race car, but have you ever been stuck in grass or mud? I haven't. Okay, good. So you won't know the answer to this question. But why do every driver just floor it? Why do they never gradually try to get out of a grass? They always just floor it and they got no tread on these tires. Well, I think the initial concept is, you know, like if I can get just enough momentum, then it will actually pull me out. Is it while you're stopped? Yeah. That's what I'm asking about. Not mm-hmm. while you're still moving. No, no, no. So like, you know, you've come to a complete stop. You yeah. put it into reverse. You're just trying to get yourself out of there as quick as possible. So mm. they floor it to yeah. try and get yeah, out as quick as possible. But then as soon as Jack LeBrock did it slowly, you got out. Yeah. yeah. But the he thing is, went, mm, bit of forward driving. I'm not, we're not race driver. We're sim driver. No. He's a real race driver. But the mentality of going slow yeah, that, during a race does, does not exist. Does yeah. Not no, the, so, men- the mentality is quick. I'm yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. You yeah. panic, okay. uh, I guess, in sense. a way. Yeah. So that's the only way I see it. But uh, we saw some um, some inc- incidents, insurance. Um, this insurance. weekend, most notably a big one, a near big one, uh, Todd Hazelwood. Or could have been bad. Almost had another 2017 moment because of a puncture, um, yes. unfortunately for him. But he did a really good job to keep that off the oh, wall. He would have had flashbacks. Many, he many, many, had flashbacks. many yeah. flashbacks. He oh. would have been kissing the feet of whoever's idea it was to put concrete at turn was it five? Six. six. Yeah. Turn six. Yeah. Because that, yeah. that is so much safer than it used to be. Mm. Because if, if that wasn't there, he would have ended up exactly where he was. Yeah, exactly. And we've seen some yeah. real nasty ones over the years. Especially, remember, James Golding actually had a crash there when he had Same a... Same thing. He actually yeah, had a right front yeah, yeah. went straight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Shame yeah. what happened to Kai Allen. You know, I mean, that car, you know, that, that, yeah. that was a big hit. That was a real shame. Um, I was actually amazed that they got back out. They was did. Good. 20 laps later. They had three laps to go until they were classified as DNF. Oh, right. So they did very well to get back out. Nice. Um, So they did did pretty good. But Kostecki, though, um, despite that Hazelwood drama, he he climbed his way up to fourth, and then, unfortunately, his car gave way, um, which caused a DNF. Does anyone know what happened there? I'm not too sure. Shut up. But I know what happened to Richie Stanaway. That was weird. That was weird. That was weird. Where he just, just, something broke. But apparently it's the new crankshaft that they had installed. Could be. Because it sounded very metal. Could be the cause of it. Um, according to V8 Sleuth, so Kostecki, you know, he could be he could be a contender for the at the mountain. You know, they they did show some mm. good pace. Well, he, he was last year. They've got the latest. Besides maybe Scott Pye, they're the only two drivers that got kicked out of supercars last year, pretty much. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and Declan Fraser. Yeah, yeah. and apart even from, he did all right actually yeah. too with the Andre Hunger. Apart from those three, they're the they're the, they're, the, they're the three most fit enduro drivers. Mm. Yeah, and yeah. deservedly so. Well, in saying that too, um, P3, James Golding and Shout David out. Russell, they did incredible. Great of course, race. David was with Erebus yeah, for I'm the not last surprised. few years. I'm not so surprised. that was good. But the fact that I love the hype up with the new livery, they're like, um, yeah, you know, this is a livery design. You know, we're going to, it's hyping up the fact that we'll get third at some point this year or a podium this year. And they did straight yeah, away. Straight off the bat. So That's awesome. um, mission accomplished. They did so well. Triple eight, technically, a one, two, three lockout because. T- um, New oh, yeah, Racing have triple eight cars. Yeah, yeah. But also another triple eight. I know we, all the triple eight haters are going to hate us, but that's okay because Cooper Murray and Craig Lowndes, P five. That was good. What an real. That was good. Cooper, I think, had a long, long stint as well, which was he did. He, I think he basically did the full uh, the the main game drivers because mm. they've appointed Lowndes as the main driver mm. of that car, but he's not doing the main hours. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Cooper qualified, didn't he? Yeah, he qualified. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. So. Look, shout out to Cooper. And but Cooper was in form because he did great in the Super Two race. He did. He did very well. So yeah. he did the forty minute race beforehand of this, before mm. this, and just kept going. Well, he with just his shows pace. that he uh he deserved that 
era and he was spot fighting with for next year. Like Cam Waters and he passed mm. him and yeah. He yeah, was no, genuinely no. up there and they made up uh, 13 spots in the race. Yes. And speaking of Cam Waters, they actually managed to finish this one. Yeah. Uh, with, with a <laughs> rear with wing. A exactly. Yeah. But a bit of a disappointing one for them though, sixth place. That's, um that's they so felt, he he ran wide actually as well, turn six. It was um, overall. Lost two positions, but it was overall a disappointing round for was. Ford. It was a Camaro. But after all of this drama, after all of this excitement, it was still Will Brown and Triple Eight. That's it. That came out on top. Well, who championship? One of you predicted that. Who did you? Pre- it was you. It was Daniel. Me. That yeah. was me. I've locked it. Wait, okay. What? No, I've locked in for the championship. He's locked in for the race win. I locked in Brock. That Fendi. was me. For That's the race. right. Yeah, That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Mine you, was totally wrong. You locked in Chaz Mostert. Why yeah, did you do that? I was very wrong. Actually, in saying that though, um, yeah, good recovery so. from him. Very after that, uh, spin after that massive spin, yeah, uh, and he's still second in the championship now, 189 points away. It could have been a lot worse because at that when that happened, he was actually dropped back to third. So that recovery saved him. Oh right, important okay. points. Mm. Very, very, very important points. Next round is Bathurst. So. And that 300, spin, so that spin, wow, that was incredible. That was crazy. And Garth Tander was watching the whole thing right in front of him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which was what funny. View. Exactly, front row seats. But and, um, yeah, and yeah, Bathurst, of course, you know he'll he'll do great. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, with that being said, why don't you go through the results quickly? Yeah, sure. So obviously we had Will Brown and Scotty Pye. SA, SA How board, good. Scotty Pye. Second career win. Very good. For Very the good. main game. His first win was... Do you great. reckon he'll be end up in New Line? Uh, I think he deserves a seat. Because mm. this is going to be the Tim Slade story. Exactly. Which is going to be announced after Bathurst, apparently. Which is funny because that's going to replace Tim Slade, sadly. Mm. <laughs> mm. No. It's the Tim Slade story to replace Tim Slade. <laughs> exactly. Um sorry, Tim. But uh, I can see him going there anyway. I can too. I reckon. I can too. Um yeah, then we had Brock Feeney, Jamie Winkup in second, James Golding, David Russell in third to round out the podium. And the first forward was Matt Payne, Garth Tander in that livery, which actually took me in a while to work out the, it was. The blue one? Yeah. The Alan Moffat. I um, thought it was um cool drive car. It did look like it that. It did look like a cool drive Because car. the thing is, <laughs> cool drive had a retro livery last year and it looked yeah, identical. Exactly. But yeah. The thing is, that car... Copy paste. The car it's based off is meant to be uh, Alan Moffat's 1974 car, which had a darker blue. Um, yeah, it wasn't than right. what Penrite had. It so wasn't right. It did no. definitely put, put everyone off. And Still nice. With though. the circle, why didn't they put the number in there? Because I'm know. assuming that's what was there back in the day. Probably some silly supercar rule. I don't know. Even though Jack Perkins runs two numbers, technically. Yeah, that was with his I tribute. I noticed that, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, no, I he think... did that at Townsville as well. He had, because 19 is Larry the Perkins' tribute. race number. I'm pretty sure they yeah. use Ferrari graphic designers. Oh, jeez, don't hire them. Um, <laughs> Craig Lowndes, Cooper Mario was in fifth. Well, don't hire them for a minor. No, hang on. No, because they actually made it fully blue. Oh, no, it couldn't have been them. <laughs> <laughs> no. Good no way. No. Uh, Cam Waters and James Moffat were sixth. Chaz Mostert, Lee Holdsworth, seventh. Um, David Love, David Reynolds. I said David Love. David Reynolds, Warren Love in eighth. Bryce Ford, Jalen Rowbottom in ninth. Cameron Crick and Cameron Hill, the two Camerons. That Cameron, was a good recovery from them. The Cameron Mobile. They had a horrible weekend. Yeah, well, Cameron in terms Crick, of car. Cameron Crick was a surprise pick for the Enduros, and he's done well top he ten. Did, he did very well. He did. Unreal. Uh, Andre Heimgarden and Declan Fraser, 11th. Tim Slade, Cam McLeod, 12th. Um, Randall and Everingham in the best livery I've ever seen. I love it. That was great. Tom, it's a shame it Tom's got <laughs> yeah. It's a shame there was not many straight uh, panels in that thing. But, um, Still oh, look beautiful. Just unbelievable. Uh, Anthony Pasquale and Tony D'Aberto, 14th. And I'll just round up the 15, which is Brian Wood and Fabian Quickard. <laughs>